All right, on today's episode of Dream of the Swarms, there's been something going on in our house. Amber and I have been looking at homes in Florida for over two years, and it's always where we wanted to live. Always, always, always been our lifetime dream. This has been a dream come true, but it's also been just a hellish experience now. We were supposed to close in this house three days ago. We've not closed. It has been an absolute shit show the past five days. For five days, we've been told by the bank, we're gonna close, gonna close, gonna close, and it hasn't closed yet. Today we get notification the seller is saying if you don't show up down here in person, right, we might back out of the deal number one. Number two, we want you to pay our mortgage payment, which is 6,500 bucks next month. And they have us over a barrel because I can't get an answer. Here's what's going on in my house right now. And by the way, through all this craziness today, our septic is backing up into our basement. Isn't that fun? So this is welcome to our world. Wait a minute, watch this. Amber just booked us flights. Amber sitting there with her little, with her little girl. And I'm trying to book a rental car, but it's spring break down there, so there are no rental cars. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, great. We use the how can I method to get through problems. How can I, how can I, how can I? This has been a week of how can I. It's been a month or two months of how can I's, but today the pressure cooker's on. So Amber and I were with our family on vacation in Florida about two months ago. While we're there, we decided to go look at homes. And the plan was that we would never move until our oldest daughter, who is 16, would allow us to move. In other words, she needed to be out of school. She didn't want to leave her friends. Of course, that's a big deal when you're 16. And so she didn't leave her friends, and we get it. So our plan was to, after she was out of high school, we would move down to the ocean. Well... As it should so happen, we were down there in Orlando having a great time and one thing led to another and we went and looked at a house and we started to fall in love with it. Amber gets her tape measure out and I was like, uh-oh, tape measure comes out, we are, we're in business. So I went back and talked to my daughter that day at our house we were renting in Orlando and my daughter looked at me and said, Dad, I, I can do it. She was very scared, but she could do it. I love watching her overcome her fear right in front of us. She did it and said, I will do it. So we've all gotten very excited. So the past month, the past two months has been getting things situated in applications to schools. We visited schools down there on one of our journeys and we got all that taken care of. We've been packing our house. Look at this, this is, this is the hallway. We have been literally packing this past two months. So we're preparing to move. Literally can't get an answer from the bank. Now our broker has been amazing. Like he has been over the top amazing. Now the sellers think that we're probably full of it. We're not gonna close. We've done everything we've, we've been asked to. All kinds of crazy paperwork. You know, obviously we've got multiple businesses, multiple streams of income coming in. They wanna verify that. So we don't have what's called clear to close yet. Clear to close means that the bank says, we're good to go. We're gonna send to the title company and they're demanding that we come to Florida to be ready to sign papers tomorrow if we get the clear to close. We don't have clear to close yet. We're taking lots of deep breaths. We are gonna head down there. We are gonna will this to happen. We're not sure what's gonna happen in Florida, but we're gonna get on a flight tonight. We just booked tickets, right? We just got the confirmation. What time like, do we leave? 7.14 tonight. 7.14. 2.58 right now. Yeah, 2.58. We leave at 7.14, so we've got two and a half hours to get things ready. We have to have our nanny come. She's gonna stay with our kids, of course, and we have to have her go get her bags and stay overnight, so that has to, all this all has to happen in a short period of time. While I'm running multiple businesses, Oh, I hear kids screaming out there. While we have a backed up septic, it's insanity right now. We are, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I literally am not sure what's gonna happen. We're gonna head down there and try this. I'll tell you, when you go for your dreams, it is not easy. This is why a lot of people don't reach it because the fact of the matter is, reaching your dreams is not easy. You have to push forward. Even when everything is saying no, you gotta find a way to push forward. And that's what we're doing right now. So we're gonna be heading out of here. Chassis, you gonna hold on the fort while we're gone? Huh? You gonna be in charge while we're gone? Okay, she's gonna be in charge while we're gone. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully by the time this episode is over, we are the owners of our dream home in Florida. Okay, off we go. Go waiting. It's seven. We're flying down here on, on Faith. Goodbye, New York. So we're in Charlotte. 
on our first leg. Mind you, we're gonna get in at midnight at Tampa tonight and then drive a half hour to no, our- we're not gonna drive a half hour. We're gonna Uber a half hour because right. there are no cars available. We can't, right, there's no cars available. Well, I gotta left. We left the Albany airport. And there was like six people in the whole airport. Nobody in security. This place is mobbed. Well, who wants to it's, be in Albany on spring break? It's 9.43 at night. Look at this place. Florida or Charlotte. I don't know who this person is talking to me, but she won't stop talking next to me, but she's bothering me. That's for damn sure. Okay, it's 11, 11.59. We've landed in Tampa. Journey with the swarms, baby. Here's how we roll. Getting shit done and we gotta get it done. We've got wheels. All right, so we found it. We caught a train. It's now 12.15, 12.20 in the morning and we have a vehicle it's a little kia it's something i asked for a sports car and i got a kia so it, <laughs> listen it's four wheels it's better than walking and better than taking an uber so we're walking down and, and amber saw somebody that was working by the avis booth so we ran up to the guy and said look what, you know we need a car do you have a car and they're like ah he's like i'm i'm all done for the night and long story short we gave the guy 20 bucks and he came down here and got us a car now Every step of this journey, it looks like when something's not going to work, we make it work. The point is, sometimes just asking. Sometimes just asking and you get what you want. And yep. being persistent and taking a chance. Still don't have clear clothes. I thought we might get it while we were on the plane. We did not get it. So tomorrow morning is the morning and we're going to go on this journey together with you. So now That's... we're on the way to the hotel, which is about 35 minutes away. We should get there around 1 a.m. That's how we get things done. Yep. Okay. All right. See ya. Okay, so as the fun continues, it's now... If I can see this, 109 in the morning. 109. And we got to the ho Amber thought she booked us at a hotel on the ocean. An Turn ocean front room. Turns out it was a motel and they don't have a reservation. They said Orbitz, Orbitz tried to sell a room that they don't even have anymore that's not even working. So now we're stuck without a hotel room. So you want to come on a journey with us, baby? This is how we get through stuff. We are one Wait. in the morning and now we're looking for a place to stay. We could be sleeping in the car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is literally 1.53 in the morning and- We the, might just be a little tired. We did find a nice place called Trade Winds and it's got a whole bunch of rooms here. And all I know is they have a restaurant, they have room service and we have a little courtyard thing and we're on the ocean and- My man saved the day. Well, I don't know about save the day. We just, found a, we just found a place to stay, which is rare down here right now. So tomorrow's the day, but- we're fighting, we're partners, we do it, and we go on the adventure together. But right? now it is Fokker out. Fokker out. Go watch, watch the parents, or, or meet, the, meet parents, the parents, if you don't know what that means, or uh, meet the Fockers, actually, is what meet that one's going yeah, so. Yeah. All right, that's it. Tomorrow's a new day, and tomorrow's day we're supposed to close. Good night. Uh, it's been not much sleep, and we did not have clear to close. Last night we got in, this morning I checked my email, nothing. I texted our loan officer, and we got clear to close late last night. You didn't tell me that. I know, I know. So yeah, we got it last night. So, how about that? Yay. So we got clear to close. So Woo. now, now they have one more problem, what a shocker, with the assuming flood insurance. They had, to, there was something they had to do, they called our insurance agent. We're gonna see if we can get this sucker closed here. I'm hoping by lunchtime or thereabouts, so. Woo. We're about to be Florida homeowners, baby. We're gonna have palm trees and water in our backyard. Palm trees, intercoastal, beach within a five minute walk. This is the life. Yeah, pretty cool. Just wanted to let Amber know that news live, so pretty great stuff. All right, moving on. We're not, the game's not over yet. Now we have numbers to look at. We have to go through stuff. So the game is not over yet. We still have stuff to do, so. This is a huge step though. This is what we've been waiting for for seven it's a, days It's a big now. step. Next of our journey, under our belts, on to the next one. See you soon. All right, so updating our journey, we are here with our beautiful real estate agent, Michelle. It's now 2.28 as you're enjoying this journey with us. And we are, it's supposed to be in their hands now, so we can close. We're feeling the frustration. This is gonna be freaking ridiculous. This is seven days of this crap. So we're still waiting patiently. It's 2.30. And we keep getting emails. That's the thing. It's like we keep getting emails saying, okay, you have clear to close, but now we have to get the packet over. And then like the packet has to go over and the title company has to do their thing to it. So that can take like an hour. And you know, the title company closes at five. So it's like, ugh. And our plane ticket that we currently have is what time tomorrow? 1.30 tomorrow. 
one thirty. That's what time we have to leave. We'll be at the airport. No, that's what time the flight. So we have to be Good. at the airport at like noon. Mm -hmm. But if you do need a real estate agent in the uh, St. Pete or Sarasota area, here's your girl. Michelle Tanner rocks. She's been awesome right by our side. Just bought us lunch, and we have some cocktails to celebrate if we get this sucker done. So here we are at three o'clock. We are uh, getting pissed off. This is really getting to be bullshit. We're sitting around, we're waiting, 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 waiting. It's all we've been doing for seven days is waiting for answers. And this bank is not, everybody claims the paperwork is there, but no one has sent it to the title company. If the title company doesn't get that in 30 minutes, we're screwed. It means we can't close today because they need time to prepare documents and get the seller and buyer to pay. We have been told literally in the past 24 hours, three different times, oh, it's happening right now. Oh, they're setting it right now. It's gonna happen right now. It's happening right now. We get all excited. And then nothing. So we're just so, now we're gonna walk down the beach and put off some steam and, and hopefully this happens. But we're damn, not so much we're not. We're, we're, we're really positive all along. And we're getting pissed off and burned out and absolutely frustrated. So this is the absolute deadline so the closing documents can get to the title company. If it doesn't get there now, we can't do it. We just got a notification that it arrived after yelling and screaming and raising our voice to everybody out of the sun to get it done. At least one of the documents. I don't think all the documents are there. The CD so they can balance the, the That's what they need. That's yeah. what they need. We think. So now, we're going to go do a walkthrough at the house. That's the next step. Before we have to rush down to the title company and get this all done by 5 o'clock today. And they need an hour to prepare the documents. Oh no my question. gosh. I've been cool and calm for 7 days. Done being cool and calm. Now I just want to get it done. All right, we're in the backyard now. Uh, they're leaving the, leaving the kayaks for us. So that's a good thing. Here's where the boat will go when we get a boat. Not there yet. All right, just doing one last walk through, kind of looking at everything, checking it all out. Wow, I hope that we get this closed today. This is gonna to be one for the books, that's for sure. It is now four o'clock, in case you're keeping track. Four o'clock, we, we believe we have clear to close. They sent some documents to the title company, not all documents to the title company. They are supposed to have the wire there by four o'clock today, Eastern time. It's four o'clock right now. If the money's not there, then the sellers can't get their money today. We don't know. So we're driving now to the title company and we are praying we can just sign all the documents and be done with this today. Man, I hate yelling at people to get stuff done, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're heading to closing now to see if we can get it closed. Oh, ah! Okay, so as this bank has been the worst bank I've ever dealt with in hundreds of transactions. I mean, we probably have done a thousand oh, deals in our... Yes, uh, both of them, please. We're gonna have cocktails while we're waiting. We're in the we're in the title company parking lot. Literally, it is 4:30 on the day of close. Well, seven days after closing. Whatever this, I don't even know anymore. It's so friggin' ridiculous. We're like trying to stay calm on the outside, but it's really like Fourth of July on the inside. We might get lucky in 30 minutes and be able to sign the papers and officially be set, and the wire can be money. Well, the money can be wired tomorrow, but we won't know until we know. So we'll keep you updated on this process. Wow, what a roller coaster this has been. 45, close in 15 minutes. Uh, on the wire. 501, he told us the paperwork's in, we're gonna sign. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna go in now, see what happens. We're in the closing office, check out this office. The sellers don't get their money until tomorrow morning, so technically we're 99.9% .9 there, but we officially are the owners of the house as of this very moment. And how appropriate is it that we closed in the... Inside the of an aquarium. <laughs> right? What a cool office. Glenn and I are scuba divers, if you don't know. We like love the ocean, so which is a big reason why we're down here. All right, we're spent. <laughs> it's now 1024. 
p.m. on Thursday the 15th. If you have been spending the past 36 hours with us, hopefully it's condensed down to a comfortable watching <laughs> span. Uh, it's been crazy, but at the end of the day, the dream has become a reality and we got it done. We're now having a couple cocktails and we're chilling out. We're back at the hotel. Finally, we celebrated. We did have one more, yeah, we did have one more controversy. We, we wanted to get in. We, we let the seller stay in the house for five days. We wanted to get back in tomorrow with our architect and they said, no. So we bought a house, can't get in it. Isn't that so I just, we shook our head and said, fine, whatever. They're mad at us thinking it was our fault. It was not our fault. But well, it's been crazy. But listen, I hope you enjoyed this journey with the Schwarms. It has been 36 hours of madness. And really, it's been 30 years of grind and working and sacrificing and losing and failing and failing and failing and failing to figure out how to get where we are today and get the combination that we have together to start reaching our goals and dreams. So we finally reached that goal together that we set 50, I set 30 years ago that we got together and we, it became something we both set together. 15 years ago, and we signed the papers today. Our hearts are full. Well, we finished the journey, so thanks for being on this episode of Journey with the Schwarms, and I uh, hope you enjoyed being on the crazy ride with us. That again, started uh, 30 years ago, but really started 60 days ago when we put a contract on a house in Florida, and uh, wow, what a journey it's been. What a, in the words of the Grateful Dead, what a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this episode. Good night. I have a good night. Not going to bed yet. Really nice. We're right, going good. to bed. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm done. See ya. <laughs> this is ours. It's all done. We are the proud owners of our Florida dream home.